Okay, this is the quick and easy crayfish pattern. First thing you're going to do is I have a fairly big number two uh, steelhead hook, mainly because I like the idea of a black hook. I put that in the vise. And we take some thread and we lay it on the hook. This is a pretty heavy hook, so I don't think I'll be weighting it at all. A crayfish pattern, you tie it upside down. <laughs> okay, so then the next thing you do is you grab some barbells or chain, and we're gonna put this up on the top up here with a bunch of figure eights. And just wrap this really tight. And I like to just go around this way and wrap it a number of times till it's not going to move around much anymore. Okay. And the next thing I do is I come back up to the end. I take some of this green sparkly stuff and you can use anything you want here. Uh, there's all kinds of cool materials that work. And then I'm going to bring my thread back to the beginning. And this is going to be basically the legs and thorax and such. And then we just wrap this around. And the sparkles act as a good attractant. Now that's actually a pretty good fly right there. But to make it more realistic, now I'm going to use a piece of twine. This is just regular old you know, twine you buy at the store, burlap -y kind of twine. And if you peel it apart, it comes apart in three sections. Your two, was the two legs and the head. So I bring this kind of underneath, one leg on one side of the thread the other leg on the other side, kind of bring it together, throw a few wraps around it, I'm trying to keep this at the bottom, and throw a few wraps around the top, come back around. Then you're going to bring this little thinner middle piece up through the center and then give that a wrap or two. that off or do whatever you want to do at this point. I like to just trim it off at the point. Give this a couple good wraps. All right, so now we're ready to flip the fly. Now if you want to really go fast you can just tie this off and use this as the tail, but lately I've gotten particularly fancy. I've bought this shiny stuff, shiny foam stuff, and for some reason Like that. So you kind of tighten a little triangle like that. Okay, so you can tie it on there. And again, I just tie it over the front a couple times. And then over the back of the eyes. back down a bit, about a third of the way, and this is where the body ties in, the crayfish. Remember, crayfish have kind of a, well, flies changing, there we go. Crayfish have kind of a body here. Tie that in tight. Then you want your segmented abdomen. Here's where you can get clever. You can either use the yarn as a tail, or in this case, we're going to cut the yarn off. And then we're going to cut the tail just about like that. 
And what that does is that little tail is going to, when you pull the fly backwards, it's going to cause it to flip around. And a couple of half hitches. Fly will will run this way, you know, and the fly will be this way. You know. And if your legs are too long at this point, I think these are just a little too long. I'm just going to trim. trim them. And it pretty much does the job. It's not a pretty fly, but it does the job.